Welcome back to New England Living. Up next, we're cooking up salmon niswa, legal seafood style. We're here at the Clark Sub-Zero and Wolf showroom and I am joined by chefs Patrick Keith and Matt King from Legal Seafoods. And if you look at the counter, we know what we're making here today, a delicious salmon dish. So what goes into this? We're gonna make a nice grilled salmon with a niswa salad and a chervil vinaigrette. And what are the ingredients that you have here for us? So we have some simply blanched green beans, some marbled potatoes, a little bit of charred tomato, some briny olives, and we're gonna put that all in the pan with some shallots, mix it up and put it on the plate for our grilled salmon. And the chervil vinaigrette's gonna have some whole grain mustard, a little bit of chervil, a little bit of chive, and some red wine vinegar and olive oil. Very simple. This sounds amazing. While well, you get to work on that, Matt, I wanna know what goes into selecting the perfect piece of fish? We're obsessive about really fresh fish at Legal Seafoods. Your best way is by looking at a whole fish. You can look at the eyes, they should be nice and clear. It's an indication of freshness, the gills being bright red, and no real kind of odor. It just should smell like the ocean. The other thing you wanna talk about is what type of fish you're gonna buy. So this, we've made a commitment to use organic salmon that comes from the Isle of Skye in Scotland. The reason we do that is very low stocking density, low impact to the environment, and then it's got a great balance of fat to flesh in the piece of fish, so it's a delicious fish. And what are you doing to prepare the fish? So we're just gonna season this with a little bit of salt and pepper, a tiny bit of olive oil on both sides, and then we're gonna get it on the grill here. Now, salmon is an expensive protein for the home chef. You do not wanna mess this one up, so what are your tips for cooking it just perfectly? You wanna have a good hot grill, and then once we get this onto the grill, we're just gonna leave it be. The skin has a lot of good oils in there, a lot of fat in there, and it's gonna release itself from the grill as it gets crisp. The key is not to rush. And one of the most common mistakes is overcooking salmon. How do we get it just right? Absolutely, so as you cook this piece of fish, it's gonna get more and more firm, right? And you can actually see it start to cook from the bottom all the way up. Ideally, you wanna let it kinda of cook almost halfway up before you even flip it, and let it just stay on that skin. And a little bit of pink left in the middle, cook it medium, you don't have to cook it well done. It's starting to smell really good in here. Patrick, at Legal Seafoods, you are working with savvy New Englanders. They know sure. their seafood. What's the goal of the restaurant? Well, the goal, like you said, they're very educated fish consumers in our restaurants. So the goal for us is to keep it simple. We don't want to disguise the fish by doing too much to it. We don't want to create these dishes that you don't know what you're eating. People want to have a really nice, fresh piece of protein. And we're going to add some different accoutrements that are going to make it taste a little bit nicer and simple as that. And this is a restaurant that's been around for 50 years. What's contributed to your longevity? We feel like the quality of our seafood speaks for itself and we always source the highest quality proteins. If you start with really great ingredients and you have a really great foundation, you're gonna be long lasting and that's kind of our model. Hey, how are we looking on the fish? We are looking good. We're gonna flip it over. Look at that sear, this smells incredible. Last part, the dressing. Sure, very simple. A little bit of whole grain mustard, Gives it some body, a little bit of red wine vinegar, some fresh chervil. Chervil's also called French parsley. So it has that grassy note, but also has a little bit of an anisette flavor. And we're just gonna whisk in a little bit of olive oil, some salt and pepper, a little chive. And now it's time for the plating and more importantly, the eating. Sure, so we wanna make sure the plate looks very attractive. People eat with their eyes. And of course, we're gonna finish this with a nice vinaigrette and we're gonna to top it with a little bit of the shaved cured egg yolk. The cured egg yolk, how does this enhance the dish? Egg yolk is classic in the niswa salad, so this is a little bit of a different touch. It's gonna to give it some nice bright color and it's gonna have a nice flavor. Some might think it tastes a little bit like Parmesan cheese. I love cheese. I love the looks of this dish. I think it's time to dig in. You have a wine pairing for us. Why did you choose this wine? So we're pairing this with Cloudy Bay New Zealand Sauvignon Blanc. And the reason why we're gonna do that is New Zealand Sauvignon Blancs are really known for having a ton of citrus notes to them, really bright citrus, and a really strong acidity level. The citrus is gonna help lift the salmon. Acidity is gonna really help us with the fat content in the salmon and kind of cutting through some of that fat. And we got some delicious wine too. What can be better? Yeah. And you can find more on this recipe by going to our website, cbsboston.com slash New England Living. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.